as a believer, you always ought to embark on a scriptural based prayer. Opposed to Joshua Sermon, who will be taking us on a journey today, educating us on, on why we need to declare scriptures while we pray. Remember, Lamentation 337 says, Who is he that hates the thing and is coming to pass when the Lord commanded it not? These are the things you need to do at the place of prayer. You keep declaring, God says, You will hear from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Sermon, more on why you need to always declare scripture while you pray. Stay tuned. If you are too big to declare scripture, you are also too big to see it happen in your life. Never get to a point in the spirit where declaring scripture looks like childishness. It is how God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, the righteousness that is of faith speaks. It doesn't assume, it speaks. In the name of Jesus, it was Papa Copeland who would say that sometimes he would go to the place of prayer and he's declaring scripture on all his organs. My lungs are functioning well. My head is functioning well. In the name of Jesus, no madness. I will wake up coordinated, no incoherence. People laughed at him, but many who laughed have long died. The man is still alive, walking today. In his 80s, he's still running conferences. Be careful when inexperienced people without result want to create a template for your destiny. They would destroy you and repent later on. Are we together? It's changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's recreating everything in obedience to Christ. Restoring everything in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, it's in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ. That's what God is doing. God is showing you where you are missing it. For some of us, when you go to the place of prayer, you would stay there for long, but there's no efficiency. You are not declaring anything. Scriptural prayer model. You are making declarations. There are times that I just walk up and down. I'm walking around the house and I'm making declarations. You will think that, you see, my reality today is what I spoke yesterday. Tomorrow will show what I'm speaking now. Your words on, always go ahead of you. If you are not saying anything, don't be angry when you enter an empty room. An empty tomorrow. An empty tomorrow with no blessings, no favor, no helpers, no nothing. And you say, God, but this is unfair. He said, remember, I gave you the will. You had the power to call helpers and schedule them like ushers in your tomorrow. And enter your tomorrow gallantly with honor. But you carelessly ignored it. Some of you calling this model childish. No, this is how kings reign. Declare scriptures by faith. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's rebuilding everything in obedience to Christ. I pray over Koinonia every day. And it's not only help. I speak. Speak to the ministry. Speak to your life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the path of the just. Not just the path of the ministry. The path of your own destiny too. The ministry is not a building. It's you. The path of the just is as a shining light. I expect testimonies every week revelations manifestations of the hand of god the word of god is coming with power you think i just prepare notes and come and preach my goodness my words arrive church before me i send the words in the name of jesus willing ears open hearts deconstructing wrong beliefs old ideologies it's changing everything in obedience to christ he's redirecting everything now let me tell you something if you refuse to declare over your life your destiny will receive anybody's declaration because man lives by words 
your destiny is not just looking for food it's also looking for words if it's not your words it will pick up any word like your phone picking up any wi-fi picking up anything in the air causes ill speakings the scourging tongues of men when someone says it will not be well with you as that word is coming it meets a fence of prophetic words already no enchantment and no divination against joshua selman shall stand surely they shall gather but because they are gathering is not of the Lord they shall scatter they come in one way they disperse in seven ways apostle but it looks like the spirit of death is looking for me it's not only you he's looking for all of us my brother it's not only you he's looking for everyone including those living long don't allow any word just enter your garden and then you see the Bible says the seed is the word. Blessed in the city, blessed in the country, favored of the Lord, Beulah, Hephzibah, the delight of the nations. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord is upon me. His grace is at work in me. There is a spirit in me. The inspiration of the Almighty makes me of understanding. This is the house that the Lord has blessed. I am planted in the house of God. Therefore, I flourish in the courts of my God. Even in old age, I am fat and flourishing. All my organs are working perfectly. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is missing. He keepeth his bones. Listen, listen Koinonia, listen to me. Please listen to me. The times that we live in right now demand you being serious with your destiny. If you keep quiet, you see when the devil wants to attack you, he knows that there are evil words already coming. Then he does something to your prayer life. And while you are quiet, you find out that something is growing in your garden. Causes, pain, trouble there are arrows that fly by day the arrows are not metallic objects the arrows are words the arrows are words my brother the arrows are not metallic objects no you think the arrow is wood with a, a sharp edge no the arrows are words oh let it not be well with him let it not be well with her. Let all her children become arm robbers. And you stand up and say, no way. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, in the name of Jesus, I build a garrison around my life. I build a garrison around this ministry. A thousand shall fall by my side, 10,000 by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. As for me, the Lord is my inheritance. Do you believe what you're hearing? The school of prayer. Please sit down. Please sit down. Faith-filled declarations of scripture. Now I must say this. The key to engaging this prayer, this kind of prayer effectively, is a thorough knowledge of the promises of God. You have to be vast in understanding scripture. If you are not a student of the word, you cannot engage this prayer model. Because you see, you can't be checking your Bible. Um, Jeremiah 31 and verse 1. Oh God, I did. No, you need to have it so that it does not interrupt your pace of prayer. The word must be hidden in your heart. So the moment you begin to engage, for 30 minutes, you are just sending arrows from your spirit to your destiny. Ever and you know because the Holy Ghost is there helping you he's pushing the scriptures even the ones you don't know you know it's at the point of confession they will come out do you know if you are not praying you may not be able to confess to speak some of those scriptures you can't even remember them but the moment you start praying with accuracy the last time you read it was five years but it's like a regurgitation it's still there in your spirit go and ask preachers there are many times when they are off the pulpit, they can't even quote back the scripture they were quoting while they were on stage. They may forget everything, 
but when that cloak comes upon them they will run the bible like a computer it's changing everything in obedience to Christ. it has been an interesting journey so far with god's servant apostle joshua selma on this topic of declaring scripture why you pray or at the place of prayer scriptural based prayer that is what he said you keep declaring what god has said it's a very active prayer and god said remember when devil tempted jesus he declared scriptures know that anytime the devil the deceiver brings in a negative thought to your mind all you need to do is to declare that scripture and god says remember and god says you know you can declare that life and death is in the power of the tongue that is the word of god your, your life death is in your tongue so you don't need to fear the enemies i have learned a lot from god's servant today on what i need to do when you are face to face with the devil you keep declaring and the lord said and god said it is a very very active prayer that is scriptural based prayer you keep declaring the word of god you keep declaring the word of god when you continue to do this you will find that that your heart will be at peace and the lord said and the lord said i am strong i am not weak i am strong i am not weak who is he that said the thing and is coming to pass when the lord commanded it not scriptural based prayer i hope you have been blessed i hope you have been educated by god's servant apostle joshua sermon congratulations for following and listening to this message to the end i want to encourage you to share it let this message go viral let it reach the end of the world don't forget to like and don't forget to drop your comment on the comment section do you have question drop it on the comment section do you have suggestion drop it on the comment section i encourage you to subscribe so that each time we drop our latest video you will always be the first to receive it god bless you and don't forget we will be here soon again thank you